Alright, hey guys, She Detector here. So tomorrow is the Florida Hunt 10 Metal Detecting Fundraiser and I'm getting my gear ready today so I can be ready to go first thing in the morning and I have a new piece of gear that I'm going to be taking out with me tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that before we get to the hunt tomorrow. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, so our good friends over at metaldetector.com sent me this, what I think is pretty awesome, pinpoint holder. So they sent me this Nota Macro leg holster for the pinpointer. So I don't know if you knew that they make a leg holster, but this is it. So it straps onto the belt of your finds bag and then it wraps around your legs. So let me show you guys. All right, so I've got it open. So this is what it looks like. So these two straps up here go onto your finds bag. So these go on your belt and then this down here is what actually wraps around your leg and then your pinpointer sits right here and um, I saw it and I thought it was super cool so I had to have it. <laughs> so we've got it. So now um, I'll be ready for all of my future metal detecting hunts. Um, but I'm going to try it out first, obviously, so let's go ahead and try this on. Alright, so I've got my finds bag here. I do have my CKG digger tool already on my belt in preparation. I did go ahead and switch out my holster, um, my leather one, for the regular black one, just because I really don't want to get my leather one, like, super duper dirty. So I'm going to open this up, and... Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which side. So I normally have my finds bag on my left side since I'm right-handed. So I think I will put the pinpointer also on my right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side of my belt and this is where this particular clip is. So all you do, so here is the loop. So I'm gonna put that loop in there first. Got that. And then the second loop. We got that. There, so it's on the bag. I know it's kind of hard to tell black on black, but it's on there. So now I can go ahead and put it on. Hopefully you can see me. So, Got that, so it's over here. There. All right, so we've got that on. This is my digger bag belt hanging down. So, okay, so this is set and ready to go. So now all we gotta do is open up this, and then this is what wraps around your legs. So hopefully you can see. So I'm just gonna wrap that around and I might open it up a little bit. So you can adjust it, the length here. It does have an adjustable strap here. Um, I'll measure it too to let you guys know how big it gets because obviously I'm a female so my legs are going to be smaller than a male's leg. Um, there we go. All right. Done. It doesn't help that I'm wearing black pants. So. Yeah, so, okay, so we've got it wrapped around. I've got a little bit of extra belt here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I might tuck it in just because I feel like if it's hanging down and if you're wearing shorts, well, I mean, you guys probably aren't going to wear short shorts, but if it's down, it might start irritating the inside of the leg, so I might just tuck it here. There we go. All right, so I've got that. I've got my Nocta pointer here ready to go. So I'm just going to slide it right on in there. Check that out. So I've got it over here and I've got my finds bag over here, my CKG digger tool. So yeah, I am a huge fan of this. Like I said, I saw it and I was like, I've got to have that holster. It gave me very much like Laura Croft Tomb Raider-esque-ness to it. Um, I mean, or I guess for you guys, Indiana Jones. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I've got my super cool leg holster, and I'll be rocking it at the hunt tomorrow. Alright guys, so I've got the leg holster opened up, 
as far as it'll go this way we can see how big it actually gets so I laid my tape measure out essentially from right here on the clip which is where the other one would meet up from right there all the way across to the other end of the clip it's about 28 inches so um, if you have bigger thighs you might want to give them a measure just to make sure this will fit around but yeah I've got about 28 inches here is what it'll fit all right hey guys she detector here so today we are at the Florida 10 metal detecting hunt fundraiser um, it is a beautiful day for metal detecting there are a bunch of metal detectorists here and there's a ton of prizes for today's hunt. So let me show you guys around the property a little bit. So this is the field where they're going to be doing two seated hunts. Um, I don't know how many acres this field is, but it's a huge field. And then over there we've got our tents where they've got the lunch going. All of our vendors are set up out here probably hard to see them through the trees. Right there in front of him. Mm. <laughs> People running straight into the middle. Hmm. acre lake that they have here on the property so this is where veterans can come and they can do fishing they have kayaks and canoes they also have a couple of paddle boats that you can see right here well behind this boat the pontoon boat but um yeah it's super peaceful out here they've got a couple of benches here and then they've got this fish feeder here that feeds the fish in the lake So we're at the Nocta tent right now, and these are a couple of the machines that Nomad Brandon Carmichael brought with him today. So this one on the end here has, I think it's the snake skins wrap on the coil. I'm going to have to look into getting some of those, but here's the rest of the tent. I want, to, I want to thank somebody who's really, really important to what's going on here in our organization. Greg is an amazing man. And everybody owes him a round of applause. The things that this guy's been through, and he still perseveres, and he comes out here and he's taking care of that one. We love him. Greg, we're talking about you. You're not paying no attention. But I don't know if everybody came out to, to find out who we are and what we do. We help veterans that are suffering from PTSD. We do four day retreats. All of this property you guys got to, to roam around today is for them. Not one person here gets paid. Everybody that's here is a volunteer. Everybody relies on your um, donations and your support. And we, we love you guys. Thank you very much.
guys, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I didn't do any metal detecting at the Florida Hunt 10 um, because I was just hanging out. Um, I was getting to know Brandon Carmichael, the nomad for Nocta. Um, I was chatting with people. I was checking out the vendors and the sponsors. So I didn't do any hunting, but I had a great time. It was a beautiful day here in Florida for the hunt. Honestly, you couldn't have asked for better weather. It was amazing. Again, if you don't know, the Florida Hunt 10 metal detecting fundraiser was to raise money for a specific organization. So that organization was Soldiers Freedom Outdoors. They are local here in Florida, um, in Melrose, Florida. They do nature therapy for veterans and active duty service members, essentially healing the hidden wounds of war. So whatever you can do outside, outdoors, they do that there. So they have the lake where you can go fishing, you can do kayaking, um, they had some paddle boat things that you could ride around in the lake, they had like a little pontoon boat there. Um, they also have horses to do equine therapy there. They've got cattle on the property. There is so much to do there. So the point of this hunt over the weekend was to raise funds for Soldiers Freedom Outdoors. So while I don't have specific numbers yet, I'm estimating that they raised between eight and $15,000. And that's just doing my own like dummy math. Um, but I'm estimating they raised between that amount of money, between the registrations from everybody who attended, and then all of the funds that were gathered via the raffles and all of the giveaways that they were doing there at the hunt. I'm thinking they made a decent amount of money, um, but it is a lot to manage. There are a lot of things that need a lot of resources, specifically the animals, they need a lot of resources. So even though they raised a good amount of money, Every little bit helps and every little bit goes a long way. I know not everybody could attend, but if you do still want to donate to Soldiers Freedom Outdoors, I do have the link in the description down below where you can head over to their website and do a monetary donation. If you don't have you know, the funds to do it, obviously everything is tight for everybody right now, they do accept supplies as donations. Um, there is a list on their website that has needs for Soldiers Freedom Outdoors. A lot of it is geared towards the animals, so they need tack and saddle for the horses, feed, hay, you name it, they can probably use it. So if you are local to Florida, but you don't necessarily have the funds, but you wanna see if you have something laying around that you can still donate, go ahead and check out their needs list. I have that linked in the description down below as well. So even though I didn't hunt, I did still have my belt with my pin pointer and my CKG digger tool, just because you never know when you might need either one of those. So for my pin pointer, I did have it in my brand new leg holster. This is the Nocta leg holster. And again, I got this from metaldetector.com. They were kind enough to send me one to check out. Um, like I said, I saw it and I had to have it because, I mean, who doesn't like Laura Croft Tomb Raider? So I didn't have any issues with the leg holster. Um, I did wear shorts. I didn't wear leggings or pants, so I did wear shorts. And my shorts were right about the level of where this belt was. So I was concerned about it like rubbing on the skin, but it didn't do that at all. The webbing that they use on here is actually really soft. I know some webbing can be kind of stiff and almost like pokey. This one is not like that at all, so I didn't have any issues with it. And then you can actually adjust these straps here. I didn't need to, the, the length of it on my belt to where like my hand length is where I liked to grab my pin pointer from. This was perfect, but you can adjust it if you're a little bit taller and you want it a little bit lower. And even though it does say Nocta Macro on it, you don't have to have a Nocta Macro pin pointer to put in here. And I actually saw a guy swinging a Mine Lab detector wearing one of these holsters. So um, obviously the brand doesn't matter. And I had, I think, two people come up to me and ask me where I got it because they hadn't seen one before. So um, yeah, I think it's super cool. Again, I got it from metaldetector.com. So if you're interested in the leg holster, I do have the link in the description down below where you can check that out. But I also have a second one because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Yay! So this will be my first giveaway in, 
I don't know, I feel like four or five years. It's been a minute. So in order to enter the giveaway to win this Nocta Macro Leg Holster, you need to leave a comment in the comments down below saying, I want that holster. You also need to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. The giveaway will be open for 48 hours. The giveaway will close on Friday, March 1st at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure you get your comment in before 11 a.m. Friday, March 1st, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner of the holster giveaway in next week's video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you like today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, I will see you guys later.